Hey guys, Craig from Crank It Surf back again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I make logos. So, this is the Crank and Surf logo, you can see it on the shirt there. Uh, because I only do a small amount of boards, probably one or two a month, uh, I print my logos on rice paper. So, it's pretty easy to do, but there's a couple of tricks to it, so I'll run you through it. Obviously the first thing you need is a logo. So what I do with that is I just print it out on A4 paper. Uh, pretty easy. Many as you can onto an A4 sheet. No major problem there. And you want to get rice paper from your art and craft shop. And you're going to print up your logos like that. So they're actually on rice paper. So you can see there's three to a page. Uh, you could probably squeeze four but uh, I like the logo this size. It's not too big. So it's pretty easy to work with. The trick with rice paper though is to put an A4 sheet as a backing. So you'll see on the on the camera there, um, that's sort of fold just folded over and taped on. So what you actually do, uh, I use a photocopier, uh, which is a laser jet, like a laser printer. So I put that on the top or end of the tray, put this one on the side tray load and basically out she comes like this so it's basically a copy of this but it's on rice paper with your A4 backing so there's a little bit of a video I'll cut at the end of this to show you how I fold it and tape it but that's basically the best way to print rice paper is to use an A4 backing and you should have no problems the one trick though is if it's your first time and you've never used that printer before print off a dummy one or cut one uh, get an old piece of foam, put the logo down with a bit of cloth and just do a test run. So put some resin on it like you would when you're doing a board just to see if the colour runs. Uh, there'd be nothing worse than getting making these, putting them on and finding out that the colour's going to run, especially if it's any jet. So make sure you do a test first just on an old piece of foam. Generally one of the off cuts that you got from... Um, cutting the, the blank, when we did the cut the blank. So if you did one of those, use this on it just to see if the colour runs and it should be good. But we'll cut through the video and you can have a look at how I fold these and put a backing on, as I said. That'll help it go through the printer. Um, if that works, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a subscribe. As I said, not a professional video maker by any means, so basically just uh, having a go to show you what I do. Cheers.